Some of you out there might know that I'm a big fan of the Dance Dance Revolution series. One year it was on my best list of my favorite Wii games that I played that year. So I was all ready to enjoy this game, but unfortunately the fun I had with this one was a lot less than I was used to. First off, I need to tell you I think my pad is broken. Which speaks a little bit to the durability of these pads. You see, even when I was nowhere near the A or B button, the game would warn me that I was pushing it. Worse yet, it would warn me by covering up the arrows. Couldn't they have made it a little less intrusive? It still read the correct arrow position, but it said I was holding down the A or B button. So it makes me wonder why they even care to tell me that when it doesn't even affect the gameplay. It was just annoying. If you've never played a Dance Dance Revolution game before, it's played like this. They have you dance to the song of your choice using a Dance Dance Revolution arrow pad. It's like this big controller where you could step on the corresponding arrow on the screen. So when the game shows you to press down, you push your feet on the down button on the pad. It's that simple. It's a game of follow the leader. Depending on the difficulty level that you have it on, the arrows will come very slowly or insanely fast. Now I've almost always played the game on nothing but the beginner or the novice settings. Why you may ask? I suck at the game. I always have. The little wee viewer is way better at it than me. In fact, in this video, if you ever see me getting a good score, it's actually him doing the work. But I did try it out on the hardest setting. Six seconds! I lasted six seconds! You would need to be crazy good at this game to even attempt something that insane. The song list this time around had pop stars like Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus, but I think the song list was way better in the previous title that I reviewed, Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party 3. These songs were okay, but there really wasn't any one that I wanted to go back and replay. And also, unlike Hottest Party 3, the music videos they have playing with the game are on one side of the screen, while the arrows were on the other side. It was alright, but I preferred having the music video in the background, and not on a side panel. I think it engrossed me more in the game, and I just didn't feel like that in this game. Just like most of these types of games, a lot of stuff is locked in the beginning. They range from new songs, training modules, and modes. What you have to do to unlock the stuff is to get enough experience points. Now, the game will automatically give you a set number of experience points depending on the difficulty level you set it at. Then there will be challenges to do. The game will change this every time you finish a song. Most of the time you can pick your own song in the challenge, but occasionally it'll make you do a certain song if you want to pass the challenge. There is no penalty for not passing a challenge other than not getting the points. You can play the game with up to four other players. One person on the pad and three others on the Wiimotes. You use the D-pad to play the game if you're using the Wiimotes. It does give you the option to play with two other game pads if you have them. There is also a training mode where you can learn to play the game and an exercise mode which will tell you approximately how many calories you've lost depending on how tall you are, how much you weigh, and how much you played. Dance Dance Revolution 2 was uh, alright. It wasn't as good as the previous game that I reviewed and that was disappointing. If you're looking for a fun Dance Dance Revolution game, buy Hottest Party 3. You'll find that one way more fun and had a lot more great songs on it. There just wasn't enough A-list songs in this title. And since I think that's a major negative against this game, I think you should skip it.